in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the best features in Apple's home application. So without further ado, let's get started. There's various home architectures that you can choose between. There's Google's Home, there's also Amazon Alexa. My preferred one is Apple's HomeKit, which is a little bit expensive compared to the other ones, but it just works really well together because I have an iPhone, the Apple Watch, the Apple TV, the HomePods. It just works seamlessly together. Apple's Home application has a lot of features, and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys some of my best features in Apple's Home application, starting off with automations. The automation is a second icon on the bottom row, and once you're in the automation section, you can set up different kinds of automations and it pretty much allows you to use different accessories to create different scenes and you can do whatever you want at any specific time so what I have here is like a sunset so whenever the sun is setting I automatically have the RGB lights going on and whenever it's midnight I have all the lights turning off and there's different automations that you can do so whenever the front door is unlocked the front lights automatically come on and when the front door is locked it's automatically going to turn off the lights after like four to five minutes you can customize all of these settings in the automations in HomeKit. If you have motion detection in your home, then you can also use the motion detector to activate certain accessories. So I have it in the kitchen. So whenever it's like midnight or it's after a certain amount of time and the lights are usually turned off, when there's motion detected, it automatically turns on the light and it will automatically turn off the light when there is no motion detected. There's different options that you can work around with and home automations just makes it a lot easier using different accessories together to automate certain events in your home. Next, we have the option to create scenes in HomeKit. Now, when you're creating a scene, you can actually control multiple accessories at the same time. One of my most used scenes has to be movie time because whenever I'm watching a movie and there's a whole bunch of lights turned on, I can immediately just run the scene and it's automatically gonna turn off all the lights in the living room or wherever the TV is around that area. It's pretty cool. You can just have a preset to different, different accessories. So I currently have it turning off all of my lights except for the sofa light, which is dimmed down to like 10%. So it's not gonna be too bright. But there's a whole bunch of other options that you can do and you can control it for different different scenarios so there's different ones that i use for youtube which pretty much turns off the purifiers so there's not many background noises when i'm recording voiceovers like these and you can just set up for different type of occasions that you're going to be setting and there's going to be some preset available so when you arrive home like a good morning one i actually have one for a good night so it just turns off everything in the house all the speakers go off all the lights go off and it's just an easy way to control everything by just creating scenes in apple's HomeKit app next we have the option to control all your home kit accessories right within the control center this is my go-to way of controlling anything because i just don't have time to quickly go into the app i can just pull down the control center and i have access to all of my home kit accessories by just going into the control center and i can control everything directly within the control center i also have the access to the control center on my lock screen so even without unlocking my device i can quickly go in and control anything that i would need to i mainly use this for unlocking the front door when it's not automatically unlocking it's just a quicker way of unlocking your front door or getting into any of your home kit accessories by just going into the control center next we have the siri functionality now since we're using apple's home app the siri works really well with apple's home so you can control any of your accessories by just asking siri to do so so you can see right now i can control my desk leds by just talking to siri it does it pretty quick it's very understanding and it just knows what to do now siri is not the best smart assistant out there but for whatever you're using it for apple's devices it just works really well i can change different colors activate different scenes run different automations it just all works within siri and you can do this on your apple watch your iphone your ipad your apple tv your home pod it just works anywhere that you have access to siri next we have a whole new way of interacting with our home accessories now this is only available in ios 17 and ipad os 17 but we finally have home kit widgets which allows you to directly interact with certain accessories that you have selected right within the home kit widget and it just makes it a lot easier to control certain in ones i usually have these set up for something that i need to have direct access to so i don't have to go into the control center it's just going to be readily available on my home screen i can quickly control anything and you can see right now i can just control my desk leds by tapping on the bedroom desk led and i have the option to turn it on or turn it off really quickly by using these widgets not only are you getting a home screen widget you're also getting some widget options on the lock screen as well now this gives you some informations at a glance so you can see what lights are turned on if your front door is open some security options the climate and you can also get a summary of how everything is in your house like the temperature the humidity and so on and it just gives you more insight into your home kit accessories by looking at your lock screen or even controlling them through the widgets on your home screen 
And finally, another new feature that's only available in iOS 17 is going to be the activity history for your security devices. So right now, if you go into your security tab in your home application, there's going to be an option for activity history and you can see the entire history of when the door was unlocked and when it was locked. And sometimes if you have this set up, it can also show you who's unlocking the door and who's locking the door. This is going to be great for parents if you have kids and you want to see if they're leaving for school or they're back from school. You can quickly check the activity history and know when the door was unlocked and when the door is locked. If you don't have this set up, you can go into the home settings, go into safety and security, and there's going to be an option for activity history. And you want to make sure that's turned on to one month so you can see all the details of the history for that past month. And that wraps it up for this video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.